Hey guys, today I am filming a makeup tutorial and I haven't filmed one in a while so I thought I would just, yeah, just kind of share one with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned. So for starters, I am just priming my eyes with my Urban Decay Brown Fashion in Original. And then I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Um, I really like this palette, it's probably my favourite palette at the moment. I'm just taking a shader brush and just putting the shade Divinity all over my lid. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Almond Truffle and just putting that kind of in the crease. Then to add a little bit of pink, I'm going to be taking the, the shade Totally Fetch and just putting that in the outer crease or whatever you want to call it. And you only need like a tiny bit of the shade because it is very, very pink. Um, look, you can see on my brush. And then with the same brush you use to put Almond Truffle, all over, I'm just going to be going with that and blending it a little bit. Then to add a bit more depth, I'm taking the shade Bordeaux. Um, I'm using the same pink brush and I'm just going to be putting a bit of that in the outer corner as well. This just kind of balances out the eye look a little bit just to kind of get rid of some of that intense pink. I'm going to be taking the shade Cotton Candy and just putting that on the outer third of my lid. And then I'm going to be dipping my brush into Satin Sheets, which is a beautiful pinky colour with a bit of gold shimmer. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to be taking my MAC Fix Plus. And then once again taking that Almond Shuffle, Shuffle shade just to blend everything because I feel like it's very unblended at the moment. And then just to darken that up a little bit more, I'm taking Bordeaux again. Bordeaux, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, and just putting that in the crease again. In the outer V. Um, and that's pretty much all for the lid of my eye. Underneath, I'm just going to be going in with, with a little brush and I'm just going to be taking the shade Almond Truffle and just going a bit underneath um, my eye. Okay, so now moving on to the rest of my face. To start off, I'm just going to be priming the rest of my face with the uh, Benefit Professional Primer. I love this primer just to kind of smooth out my skin. Okay, now taking this foundation, it's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. It's my favourite, favourite foundation at the time. Um, I'm just going to be putting a little, little squirt of that onto the back of my hand. And it's kind of running out, which is really sad. I'm going to take my Zoeva um, 102 Silk Finish Brush. This is my favourite brush for applying foundation. And obviously just apply that all over. And now going in with concealer. I'm using my favourite, it is the Instant Age Round. It's almost finished, but I have a backup, of course. <laughs> now my face is looking very ghostly. Um, now I'm just taking my Bolt Boying Concealer. Um, I'm going to be mixing these two shades. I got them in a kind of kit, and I just use them to hide any blemishes. Now onto powder, I'm just taking my Real Techniques powder brush and my Rimmel Stay Matte powder in translucent and just putting that all over. And now to kind of add a bit of depth to my face, I'm using the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Um, it's my favourite, favourite bronzer. It goes so nicely with my skin tone, I think. And I think it would flatter most. I'm taking my Real Techniques sculpting brush and I don't know if you can see, but I'm just dipping the side of it into the powder and then using that to kind of create a line on my face and then I'll blend it out with the brush afterwards. And 
and then taking a little bit more of that powder, I'm just going to be um, contouring on my forehead. And then I'm using my Aqua Blush, and this is by Bourjois. Um, I honestly just bought this because I wanted to try it out. I've never tried a liquid blush before, and it is amazing. I love this stuff so much. Um, it adds such a nice subtle glow, but it's, I don't know, it's very multiple, so you can make it more or less depending on what you're after. And that's a little bit too intense for me, so I'm just going to be going in with my powder brush again and kind of blending that out. And then for highlighter, I'm using my Becca highlighter in the Champagne Pop. Okay, moving on to eyebrows now. Recently, I've actually been loving this, the Australis O Highbrow Kit. And then to just set them in place, I'm going with my Maybelline Brow Drama. And obviously, just setting them. <laughs> Um, so in the same palette, I've been really enjoying this little highlighting shade just over there. Um, I found it's like, I oh don't know, it's just a very, very good highlighting shade, and I use it to highlight my brown bone. And then to finish off my eyes, the next thing I like to do is go in with my Rimmel Scandalize um, eyeliner in Nude, and I just like to kind of go just in the inside kind of corner of my eye just to brighten up my eye a little. And then to finish off, I'm just going to be doing a small little thin line just above my lash line, just to give it a bit of something, I don't know. <laughs> and then recently I've been loving curling my lashes, and I never really thought it made a difference, but recently it has actually, well I think it's made a difference, I don't know if that's just my mind playing tricks on me, but I, I feel like it's made a difference. My all-time favorite mascara is, of course, the Last Sensational by Maybelline. Um, this will be my favorite for ages. And the last step is lips. And just to kind of finish off this look, um, I felt like a very nude lip would kind of go well with this look. So I'm using the Lip Drama Pencil. And this is in the color Nude Perfection. It's kind of gone really small because I've used most of it, but I do have a spare one. And that is the completed look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, come back next week and there'll be another one. Um, sorry if my voice is a bit weird in this video. I am. Um, I was sick last week, hence why there was no video. So my voice is still kind of coming back. Um, my nose is a little clogged still, but I'm sure I'll be better soon. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.